that's, that's the inspiration part. Because yeah, we, you, we, when we talk about these issues of uh, going further in the digital transition, which is no man's land, we, ne we never did it before. But when you do this, it's very, it's very nice and it's very appreciated to get stories, get stories from another. Yeah, stories, your stories inspire us. And I think that's also one of the, uh, let's say, the, the, the strong uh, uh, parts of what we, what we call the European Commission, yeah, the commu European community, that we learn from each other and that we, that we inspire uh, each other. I think it's it's important to mention that uh, Elisa helped us to uh, how to say it's uh, we used to say to keep fingers on the pulse of the of the time like uh, to know what's happening around mm -hmm. and to also better how to say compare uh, the problems we are facing uh, on national level. Uh, what's their relationship to the problems dealt on the European level. And uh, that's that's important to, to have partner for discussion and to uh, to be able to maybe uh, address certain issues uh, from national level to the European uh, uh, table or discussion around the table. And what, what really we uh, appreciated was the the fact uh, the activity related with these workshops and knowledge transfer activities these were really very good and we are still still somehow using those i think that this uh, blueprint recommendation have been very important uh, they're, they're actually describing how the european interoperability framework is applied in the context of spatial information and we we also know that the, the more uh, generic e-government uh, solutions and uh, architectures is also based upon the same reference model this european interoperability reference model so we have benefited from uh, from some of these um, recommendations in uh, in the blueprint document in in norway we have a uh, a document called the technological framework for DSDI, mm -hmm. which uh, summarizes all the requirements, mostly from um, Inspire and, and the implementing rules, but also from other governmental uh, uh, white papers uh, and um, and uh, and uh, laws and other. Uh, high-level documents and in in this document we have also included the uh, technical uh, recommendations from the blueprint document uh, yes i must say that our opinion is that we uh, benefit from uh, uh, different elisa actions even in the beginning maybe we have a little bit uh, reservation that this is uh, too much so-called theoretical uh, approach but Later on, we, reali we realized that uh, these uh, activities within the ELISA improved for us uh, spatial awareness and analytical skills uh, in the practical uh, everyday uh, life. So uh, I am quite sure that ELISA action was uh, important for uh, developing uh, our national infrastructure for spatial information. Uh, because they, uh, we have offer, we have opportunity to compare the content of, uh, let's say, Elisa Blueprint, uh, where we uh, um, be able to uh, saw the position of uh, practical implementation in the national level within the, uh, let's say, recommended uh, approach in Blueprint, and. Uh, we, and that way we check the ad adequacy of our solutions and activities. But we also use uh, some training materials from uh, in, for improving capacity and awareness uh, about uh, location data. And of course, I must mention also the imp practical implementation of the registry into our national Slovenian uh, geo portal. What we really appreciated was the um how to uh, say the tour de table so that knowing what was happening at the european level who was doing what um, that allowed us to go and, and 
see what they were doing to to exchange experiences um, and um, to to start um, cooperation with other um, with other actors. So that was for us um, very helpful. That was um, one of the main outcomes. Uh, uh, initiatives like Elise are very beneficial for for an SME like Ubiware. Uh, for us, it's it's. Uh, quite impressive to be part of the ecosystem, to share our view, um, to be uh, learn, to learn with uh, other players who are uh, facing the same challenge or similar challenges, uh, and to be able to share our experience and showcase that what we've co-created with a public authority from Portugal can then be uh, analyzed by other cities and other governments uh, all across Europe and the world. So uh, it's, again, very good for, for us to learn and to grow, but also it's very good to promote our, our business by creating success stories, awareness, uh, and, and putting our, our customers also in the spotlight as, as a reference uh, uh, entity. So it's uh, very good for us.